Swords can cook? Well, if they got fire aspect, they can, but that's not all fire aspect can do. Hello, my name is JD and welcome to another easy Minecraft tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to get and use the fire aspect enchantment. So you can get fire aspect with the enchantment table. Let's see if we get it. We got unbreaking and looting. Nope, nope, we didn't get it. So the other way you can get it is with an enchanted book. So we're going to put it on here and there we go. We got fire aspect. But how do you get a fire aspect enchanted book? You can get one by fishing and getting an enchanted book, but don't count on it every time. Or you can find it in a loot chest or in a trade with a librarian. But what does fire aspect do? Well, it sets things on fire. Uh, there is actually a difference between Java and Bedrock, and I'll get to that in a moment, but the basic mechanics are the same. So we've got Fire Aspect here with Fire Aspect 1. There, it'll burn for about four seconds and deal one and a half hearts of damage. Now, if we try Fire Aspect 2, now this is a bit more you'll end up getting three and a half hearts damage and it'll burn for about eight seconds. So that's not going to die, unfortunately. There we go. But if you try it on a mob that is like, well, a sheep, oh, this is what happens. It burned, <laughs> it died, and we got cooked mutton. So yes, it actually cooks. Now, there are some mobs that are immune to fire aspect, and they're all from the nether, but some of them are not. Piglins will burn, but these guys, they don't. Hoglins will catch on fire, and if I can find one of our piglin friends, not a zombie piglin, of course, we need one that's still alive, like right over here. These guys also burn. Uh, skeletons and endermen will also burn in the nether, but all other mobs are immune. In the overworld, every mob burns unless it's in water. Now, while I mentioned that mobs in water won't really be affected by fire aspect, if they are killed in one shot, they will give you cooked meat. If, if of course, they are cookable. So this guy, there we go, we got cooked chicken right there. They're in the water because they know I want to set them on fire. Lucky them. But uh, there are a couple of things that are exclusive to Bedrock Edition. One of them is we can light a campfire with Fire Aspect Sword. You have to right click and there we go. TNT as well. Just right click it and... It's going to explode. There we go. Boom. Okay, so that you can only do in Bedrock. If you try in Java, nothing will happen. And that is Fire Aspect. Do you like to use Fire Aspect on your sword? Do you find it's useful in any situations? Let me know in the comment section below. If you like the video, then please give it a thumbs up. And if you're interested in seeing more easy Minecraft tutorials, then please consider subscribing. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.